we are going to read my favorite book. And it is called Amelia Bedelia Goes Camping by Peggy Parrish. Pictures by Lean Sweet. So here is how the book looks. So now we are going to start reading Amelia Bedelia Goes Camping. Amelia Bedelia Goes Camping. Hurry up, Amelia Bedelia! Called Mr. Ruggers. I'm coming, I'm coming, said Amelia Bodelia. Did we get everything? asked Mrs. Ruggers. I will say so, said Amelia Bodelia. Good, said Mr. Ruggers. It's time to hit the road. Hit the road, said Amelia Bodelia. All right, she picked up a stick, and Amelia Bodelia hit the road. Stop that, shouted Mr. Ruggers. Get into the car. Amelia Bodelia got into the car. I am so excited, she said. I've never been in camping. You will have fun, said Mrs. Ruggers. They rode for a long time. Finally, Mr. Ruggers stopped the car. Wake up, Amelia Bedelia, said Mrs. Ruggers. That is it. Amelia Bedelia looked all around. But where is the camp? She asked. The camp is in the car, said Mr. Ruggers. In the car, said Amelia Bedelia. We're going to camp in the car. The things we need to make the camp are in the car. Make the camp, said Amelia Bedelia. We have to make the camp. Just forget it, said Mr. Ruggers. I'll put the tent in here and we can pitch it later. All right, said Amelia Bedelia. Now let's have some fun, said Mr. Ruggers. Let's catch some fish. I've never caught fish, said Amelia Bedelia. Is it like catching a boat? Mr. Ruggers said, <laughs> it's more fun, he said. I will show you how. Did you bring any cookies? asked Mrs. Ruggers. Yes, said Amelia Bedelia. I made up a new kind. Amelia Bedelia got the cookies. Chocolate, said Mr. Ruggers. My favorite. He took a bite. They're so crunchy, he said. That's a potato chip, said Amelia Bedelia. I do love potato chips. I put in a whole bag. I call them chocolate chip cookies. Mr. and Mrs. Ruggers looked at each other. Call them whatever you like, said Mrs. Ruggers. Just make them often. Bring them along and follow me, said Mr. Ruggers. Let's find a good fishing spot. They walked along the bank. After a bit, Mr. Ruggers stopped. He looked at the water. This is good, he said. Amelia Bedelia stopped. I see one. I see a fish, she said. I'll catch it. Wait, said Mr. Ruggers. But Mr. Ruggers was too late. Amelia Bedelia was in the water. Here, fishy, fishy, she said. Then she grabbed the fish. I caught it, she yelled. What a big one, said Mrs. Ruggers. Amelia Bedelia looked at the fish. The fish looked at Amelia Bedelia. All right, said Amelia Bedelia. Away you go. The fish swam away. Amelia Bedelia, yelled Mr. Ruggers. Why did you do that? Amelia Bedelia looked surprised. Why not, she asked. You just said to catch a fish. I did that. Oh, go away, said Mr. Ruggers. Thank you, said Amelia Bedelia. I am what I do need to change. M Amelia Bedelia started to leave. Oh, Amelia Bedelia, said Mrs. Ruggers. Please start a file on the grill. Use pine cones to start it, said Mr. Ruggers, and put on some coffee. All right, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia walked into the car. She changed into her dry clothes. Now, said Amelia Bedelia, I'll surprise Mr. Ruggers. I'll pitch that tent. She walked over to the tent. Shoot, said Amelia Bedelia. I can't even lift it. Need some help, said someone. Amelia Bedelia turned around. Who are you, she asked. I'm Harry, said one boy. I'm Mike, said the other boy. I'm Amelia Bedelia, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia, said Harry. I've heard from you. You have, said Amelia Bedelia. That's nice. Now, will you help me pitch this tent? Where do you want to pitch it? Asked Mike. The big thing is to pitch it, said Amelia Bedelia. It can come down where it wants to. The boys grin at each other. Okay, let's do it, said Harry. They caught a hold of a tent and they picked it up. And they pitched that tent. Hooray, said Amelia Bedelia. We did it. Maybe we should pitch it again, said Mike. Why, said Amelia Bedelia. It's in the bushes, said Harry. That's a good place for it, said Amelia Bedelia. It's out of the way. Hey, said Mike. Mom's calling us. Thank you for helping me, said Amelia Bedelia. She watched the boys go. 
I had better get that fire started, said Melia Bedelia. She got some wood and pine feathers. She put them in the grill. Leave and learn, said Amelia Bedelia. I didn't know pine feathers could start fire. I want to see this. Amelia Bedelia sat down. She waited and waited, but the fire did not start. Suddenly, she jumped up. The coffee, she said. I forgot to put in the coffee. She poured the coffee on the pine feathers. Now it will start, she said. Mr. and Mrs. Rogers walked up. Why isn't the fire burning? asked Mrs. Rogers. The pine cones haven't started yet, said Amelia Bedilla. Did you try using a match? asked Mrs. Rogers. You, you didn't tell me to do that, said Amelia Bedilla. Never mind, I'll do it, said Mr. Rogers. You put in some coffee. I did, said Amelia Bedilla. Didn't I put enough? Oh, go jump in the lake! said Mr. Rogers. Amelia Bedelia stamped her foot. I will not. I have no more dry clothes. Mr. Rogers laughed. Ha, 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 you win, he said. Can you row a boat? Certainly, said Amelia Bedelia. Use any of the boats, said Mr. Rogers. Have fun. Amelia Bedelia found the boats. I'll just use all of them, she said. She pushed the boats this way and that. The boats were rowed. Hmm. Amelia Bedelia went back to Mr. and Mrs. Rogers. That was fun, she said. What's next? I need a tent sticks, said Mr. Rogers. I'll get him, said Amelia Bedelia. She ran to the car. She brought a package. Here, she said Amelia Bedelia. Mr. Rogers opened the package. What a transformation, he said. Didn't I cut him all right? Asked Amelia Bedelia. They look like tents to me. How am I going to pitch the tents? asked Mr. Mr. Rogers. Don't fret, said Amelia Bedelia. I pitched the tent. Mr. Rogers looked. Where is the tent? he asked. In the bushes, said Amelia Bedelia. Just where you landed. That does it, shouted Mr. Rogers. He stamped off. Mr. Mrs. Rogers went after him. Why is he so upset? said Amelia Bedelia. How are you trying to help him? Mr. and Mrs. Rogers came back. It's all right, Amelia Bedelia, said Mrs. Rogers. We can sleep under the stars. Well, I'll help get you the sleeping bag, said Mr. Rogers. I can do it, said Amelia Bedelia. She went to the car. Amelia Bedelia came back slowly. She was carrying some bags. Shh, she whispered. I think they're sleeping, but how can you tell? Mr. and Mrs. Rogers stared at Amelia Bedelia. Never mind, Amelia Bedelia. I'll get this camp in ship shape, said Mr. Rogers. That sounds like fun, said Amelia Bedelia. What kind of ship shape are you going to make? You have done enough, said Mr. Rogers. I'll do this. Amelia Bedelia walked away. I don't know much about camping, she said, but I do know one thing. It's time to eat. Amelia Bedelia bustered around. She did this and that. Finally, she had everything ready. Mr. and Mrs. Rogers called Amelia Bedelia. It's time to eat. I'm sure ready. Said Mrs. Rogers. She and Mr. Rogers came. Fried chicken stuffed eggs, said Mr. Rogers. What a feast. All three ate and ate. Now I'm stuffed, said Mr. Rogers. There's one more thing, said Amelia Bedelia. I'll go get it. Soon she came back singing. I know, I know. Happy birthday to you. My birthday, said Mr. Rogers. I forgot my birthday. Blow out the candle, said Mrs. Rogers, and cut the cake. Mr. Rogers did just that. Then he said, Amelia Bedelia, this is the best camp trick ever. Amelia Bedelia smiled. Let's do it again, she said. I do love camping. Now we've finished reading this book. I hope you like how I read this book. And please watch our new playlist that we posted. And please make sure to subscribe, tap the little bell icon so you don't miss it. Bye, kids!